for RBIs in the season. He broke it last night, drives that one deep right center field. Vasquez chasing after it. It'll land and go all the way to the wall, four extra bases. Moore chugging around first, heading into second. He'll now try to go to third, and he'll stand up at third with an RBI two-out triple. Rocks trying to get a big two-out hit here from Hank Meyer. Laces one up the middle, and it'll reach the outfield. Paul being waved around. A throw coming in from center is way over. The catcher Case's head, and it's an RBI single for Henkemeyer. He'll go to second. 2-2 two -two on the way, and this time Soto turns on and hits it a mile. Deep right field, looking up is Padilla, looking back is Padilla, and it's off the base of the wall, and it'll be a ground rule double for Elvin Soto. He got another inside pitch and handled it, drilled it over the 375-foot mark, albeit on a bounce, but he gets the job done as Boo Vazquez scores from third base, and the, Beatles, or the Rocks take a 2-1 lead over the Beatles here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Yeah, and if you're Steve Weber, why do you go back inside to Elvin? 86, just 259 against lefties. Here's a 2-1 into shallow center field. Moore charging in, Bobber going out. Moore dives, can't come up with it. It goes by him. Coming in to score is Imholt, and Lopez comes through with an RBI single to give the Rocks a 3-1 lead with two outs here in the bottom of the seventh inning. And Moore kind of flat-footed right off of contact. It looked like Ben just didn't have just hordes of guys start to leave the team, whether it's due to injury or personal reasons. Poke up and over the second baseman's head by Soto, and it'll plate Boo Vasquez, an RBI single for Elvin Soto, makes it four to one St. Cloud. Well, he just did what he had to do, and in broken bat and all, he muscled it over the second base, over the second baseman's head, and, and you know what? It goes in the scorebook. With the bases juiced in the top of the ninth. Favreau swings at the first pitch he sees, flies it to shallow right field, and it'll drop for an RBI single. It's now 4-2. to two. Scoring from third is Leffler, and Vavra picks up his second base hit of the ball game. It's an RBI single. The base is still loaded. The Alabama. Maxson delivers the 1-2, an inside-out swing by Moore. He'll ground it to second. Maxson will get to first, not in time, and Moore gets in with an infield single. Miscommunication by Nick Tanielu and Carlos Lopez as both of them went to play that. Maxson winds and fires the 3 2, and it gets away from Soto. And now both runners being waved around the throw home in time to get Tanner Vavra as he tried scoring as well on the wild pitch. But the Beatles tie it in the top of the ninth. Mike Mormon reaches via hour. Bazzani from the stretch delivers. Tanielu lines that one. Right center field. Rocks win. Rocks win on a walk-off RBI single by Nick Tanielu. Kuzel hops on the plate. The Rocks win. And the Rocks take down the Alexandria Beatles by a score of 5-4. to four. Tanielu's hit scores Eric Kozel. Tanielu's fourth hit of the ball game. And the Rocks win by a score of 5-4. to four. How about that? Have a day, Nick Tanielu. As the Rocks run all the way out to the outfield. As Nick Tanielu wins the game for St. Cloud. We'll take a two-minute break. When we come back, we'll be joined down on the field with the Rocks player. You're listening to Rocks Baseball on the Fan.